better late than never. Let's get into November's plan with me. It is the second weekend in November and I'm finally getting around to planning my monthly setup. This month, if you couldn't tell by the thumbnail, we are doing Harry Potter. And if you caught Friday's video, it was all about mother culture and doing a little bit more for me. And with that, I have decided to do a little bit more journaling, doodling, and all of the things that go into bullet journaling, but in my Anna Vance planner. If you're new here, hi, my name is Tanya. This is my 2020, 2021 homeschool planner from Anna Vance Paper Co. And we're gonna start doing a Harry Potter unit and I couldn't be more excited. So over this last couple days, I literally just got my pencil out. I got some things pulled up on Pinterest and I just started doodling for the monthly, but there's so much more I want to add. So let's get into it. Most and foremost, I want to add a few boxes to remind me of like what's going on. And I'm just gonna add these gold ones. Actually, if I have black, maybe I'll add black. Nope, and I do not. So we'll add the big ones. So the only ones in black I have are these big ones. And I think I'm gonna mix and match because I do have some of these small ones. So I will put these ones here. Last week during election week and all of the things, we ended up not doing school at all. You can see on the third that I have some candles that I drew in. It was my daughter's sixth birthday, so we completely celebrated it. And we honestly just didn't feel like taking any, we didn't feel like doing school, so we didn't. And we ended up taking that week off, which was fine. I had planned to take Thanksgiving off, and I think we'll just school right through Thanksgiving week. These boxes are going to represent my husband being off. As well as I have a IEP meeting this day for one of my girls' speech. So I'll fill in the rest of that when it actually comes to the time and the Zoom. I'll add in all of that. I added some leaves here to represent getting together with friends. So I actually am gonna add another box. Let's do black. Oh, what's covering it up? Maybe not. Mm. Okay. Y'all, I get so picky if it's not completely straight. And sometimes these do not pull up very easily, so I have to be careful. Okay, and then I'm just gonna fix that right there. I'm gonna make it a little darker. Okay, so my monthly is really simple. I'll add in maybe a few things as the month goes. But as of right now, super simple. I have everything I need to add. Moving on to this spread of the actual mother culture page and i want to fill this in with you all right now when i'm doodling i always use a pencil and then i have these micron pens like have a set and i'm using the number two to actually sketch out my 
doodles and I just go right over the pen. Sometimes I'll go back and erase the pencil depending on how much on track I truly was and then sometimes I don't. I would love to know is it fall where you guys are right now or are you guys full on in snow and Christmas mode in your town or even in your house? We did start decorating for just winter decorations more than anything. I put some garland up on top of our cabinets in the kitchen. And we actually are in a pretty good fall weather. It's cooled down here where I live. It doesn't snow here in Central California, but it does get cooler, which is much appreciated. I got my pillows out as well, which a lot of it is just greenery and garland. Nothing that says Merry Christmas on it or anything like that, but I am full on ready to do Christmas in our house. And on this page, I don't really think I want to color it. I really do just want to have the doodles and then fill in the rest. So I am going to go back and erase just a little bit, nice and softly. This is my number one goal this month is really to focus on the Charlotte Mason principle really of mother culture and if you guys also do that and have good tips leave them below because I need all the help I can get. I'm gonna use a sharpie pen because I do want my words to be a little bit darker. I have some scratch paper as well over here. I'm just gonna rip off so I do not go past. And you can tell that I don't always just go exactly. Honestly, the reason I sketch it is so that I know I have the room when I need the room to do, do the lettering and all of that. And all of my ideas are not my own. I just take a bunch of pictures off Pinterest and go from there. And I have these little dots here. I'm gonna take and I am gonna, I really just wanted something a little bit more this holiday season as I get into like my plan with me's. I enjoy doing all of the sketch work and doodling. I honestly do most of it when I'm just sitting on the couch with the kids because I knew we were doing a Harry Potter unit they honestly have caught on too, but I have just been doing a little marathon of Harry Potter and we've been catching up on where we're at in the movies. My kids have seen the first, oh, that's a little off, the first three movies. My kids are, um, I have a three-year-old, a six-year-old now, and eight-year-old and ten-year-old. So we'll be jumping into the fourth book here in the next couple weeks. More than likely next, but I'm just playing it by ear. I've ordered a ton of stuff off Amazon, so if you are not following me, 
definitely hit that subscribe button because you won't ever miss a video and you can see what we get because I have a huge Amazon haul coming to you next Friday. When it comes to this page, I kind of have some notes written down, but I wanted to go through it with you guys and just tell you where my heart's at this season with the election being last week and just everything from 2020. And as it's wrapping up, all that we really do have to be grateful for and just really what this year has done to us and how it's grown us or whatever it may be. I want to really reflect that. But more than ever, this holiday season moving forward, I am so grateful for my house. I'm gonna put house. Just a place that for a long time we never thought we'd be able to own and we own our house, we can do what we want. I'm just so very blessed. Reading list. This month, I am reading something stiff. Mm, it's not really stiff, but it is my nonfiction reader, and it is, it's not supposed to be this way. by Lisa Turkish, and I'm positive her name is with a Y. As well as I'm trying really hard to read just more and taking that time with for me. So I'm downloaded The Great Alone, I believe is what it's called. And that's by Kristen something. I will have it linked and I'll tell you because I'm not quite sure or remember what her last name is. The novel or something else that I'm reading, I guess that could have gone here as well, but I'm picked up from Amazon a treasury of African American Christmas stories that just I had never seen before and wanted to read this month. So that is also what I'm reading. If you hear like kind of like a banging or like almost like a drum sound, that is my <laughs> vent outside and the wind <laughs> hitting it. And something I also want to learn more about is just the Charlotte Mason homeschool method. I won't lie, I looked up all of the methods when we first started homeschooling six, seven years ago, but I don't really think I ever did a good deep dive in the Charlotte Mason principles and I wanna do that. There's a lot that I have learned that we really are doing in our house without even realizing we're doing it. And I have just started really relating to that method more and more as we continue homeschooling. Items that have brought me joy. Oh, there's so much lately, guys. We are really in a good group of just art projects and being together as a family. I'm honestly making a basket right now. Um, I'm basket weaving. And that's been super fun. We've been doing a lot of paint by numbers. And of course, I'm gonna put Harry Potter. It's so nice to be able to get away in a book and just lose ourselves in a book. So my thoughts and prayers I'll fill on my own. An area that I need help with is my afternoons. I will say it over and over again, I need to figure out afternoons. 
and I was talking to my husband about it and I really think it might be something also that we just don't figure out until after the new year and I can put my kids into maybe some gymnastics or parkour for my son, something like that. And I would love to try to improve on in cooking because holidays are coming and we are a plant-based family and I'm never done um, it during the holidays. So I want to figure out some good holiday meals. And that's it for that page. I'm not gonna color it. I like the simplicity of it on this page. This is where I'm putting all of our studies and what we're really gonna cover. I don't know if you can really tell. I have it in pencil, but I'm gonna write it out with you so that you can see really what I'm planning for this month and through the end of the year. I have a good feeling we'll also do it through January, but I'm not quite sure. We'll just take it as it comes. And we are gonna do muggle studies. Before I move on though, I wanna show you where I'm getting all of my information. I have the Waldark Way Wizard and Wands teacher manual, and I'll also leave this link below because it's amazing, and that's where I'm getting everything we're doing. Basically, I'm tweaking it to be our own. However, I am getting all the main subjects and projects and things from over there. So our Muggle Studies is actually history and it's from Knights to and Castles to Vikings, Viking Raiders which is really good because that's for the time period we're in anyways. Next class, we're also gonna do charms, spells, and enchantments, and incantations, which, is going to be our language arts for the first for the first through November or at least through till Thanksgiving I'm gonna continue doing language arts as normal and then through Christmas we will do more of what is in the wizards and wands we're also gonna do defense against the dark arts. And this is where I really have changed things compared to what she has in the curriculum. So the definition of this being, oh, sorry, there's a fly. Defending themselves against dark creatures, the dark arts, and other dark charms. Offense magic is also taught in this class, such as how to duel, which requires the use of both offense and defense magic. So, we may do a little bit of this in the afternoons to have fun, but I'm going to take it and make it our Bible curriculum because we are strong believers in the faith, and I know many people will disagree that then why are you doing Harry Potter? We really take it as any made up character. We all know it's make believe and it's fun to get away in a book. So that's how my family believes in it. But a defense against the dark arts happens every day in our daily lives, fighting against sin. And that's how I'm going to approach it in our household. We're also gonna do magical creatures. And this is what I'm super excited about. We're gonna learn a wide range of magical creatures. They will, will learn their characters, their diets, their habitats. And to start us off, it, this is actually where I'm gonna start us off. 
my kids have already assumed we're going to start the fourth book, but I'm gonna have a twist and not start it yet. Creatures. And I will show you the couple books that I have. It will be a repeat for Friday, but you get a little sneak peek into just a few things I have ordered off Amazon. So I have gotten the history um, of magic through Harry Potter, which I love this book. It is so pretty. I seriously love the pictures and all that it goes through. I'm just going to go through the table of contents with my kids and we're just gonna if they want to do astronomy one day we'll do astronomy if they want to do charms we'll do charms like they get to pick what they want to learn about and then I picked up the Hogwarts library which has Fantastic Beast, Tales of Beetle and Bard, and then Quidditch, which I know my kids are going to be so, especially my son will be so excited for that one. And we're going to do that this week to start off. Before we really begin anything else. And then eventually, like I said, I will bring out the, thir the fourth book. But my kids, we read the third one over the summer, thinking that it would take the whole summer to do no we were done in a month so i have every intention to move on to the fifth one if need be the next class we're going to do is potions and that's really going to be our part of science as well as astronomy which we have covered a little bit of astronomy this year already and it was in the plans so i'm going to continue doing what we were doing already and just had taken a break from as well as learn about all of God's beautiful creations from the stars and the constellations and then last but not least my kids really want to do an owl study and I think in January we'll really do this unless we really do get through all I have um, super early, but I haven't ordered the books yet. So I put Owl Study just in case to keep it on my mind. And this VA is for Vineyard Academy. So that is what I got so far for our subjects in this month. Next up, I have, like you've seen, already, actually this is where I started, and then I have my list here. Um, I have really tried to just be creative this month. It's been super fun. I'm gonna switch pens again so that I can go back with my number two. And it's not at all something difficult or stressful. It's just a good creative outlet. I used to bullet journal in 2019 and I loved it, but it was hard to keep up because I had to keep up, if that makes sense, like nothing was in the book. So I'm going to try, oh, I don't know if I like this, to, do it when I want and be okay if it's not done and all of that. I do like these little swirlies, but I like them in the Sharpie pen. Got a little bit of charms. In the past on this page, I have truly loved putting quotes. Last month, I really did not plan that much at all Life got away from us and we just probably didn't do as much school as we could have. 
So this month I am going full blown and really making sure we get the things done that I want to get done as well as probably catch up a little bit and maybe get ahead in some of our history because in December we'll probably take a lot of time off and I have a lot that I would like to take off. From our normal subjects, we'll still be doing some things, but I've gotten a few books and things like that that I would like to do instead of our normal subjects or instead of our normal curriculum. We'll do those other things in those subjects is how I should say that. So quotes will go here. I already have a few that are our favorites, but I might wait too until my kids have really gotten into the book or something, or as we're going through those other J. Curry Rowling books. If they start repeating something, I'll write that down. I'm really just gonna take my kids' lead for the next couple months and see where it takes us. If you guys do a more of a, oh, what is it even called? Like a non-schooling or a kind of a unit studies more. Let me know what you guys are studying right now. I would love to know. Okay, there's my little hat, and that does it for this page as well. And I just really love how it turned out. Thanks for coming along with me today. I hope that you'll stay tuned and you'll see all that we have going on for this month and all of our Harry Potter fun that we're going to have, and I just know we will. And I will also do a another look through at the end of the year so you guys will get to see how october and november and december all turn out turned out but that will do it for me today you all have a great rest of your sunday or whatever day you're watching this and we'll catch you in the next one bye friends